Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Saldina and I make IT and programming related videos. So if that is something that is of interest to you, consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as well. Now in this particular video, I want to talk about object-oriented programming. So what is object-oriented programming? Well, OOP or object-oriented programming allows you to represent real life objects in programming. And those real life objects are going to be represented together with their attributes and then their behaviors as well. One of the most important concepts of OOP are classes and objects. So let me explain the difference. What is a class and then what is an object? A class is going to represent a template, meaning a blueprint. And then an object really represents an example of that class, an instance of that class. For example, a class can be a fruit, and then an object of that fruit class can be an apple, a banana, a peach. Or another example, a class can be a car, and then an object of that class can be a Volvo, a Ford, a BMW, and so on. And that car class, for example, has some attributes and then it has some behaviors as well. Now, what are attributes of car class? Well, a car has a name, for example. That's an example of one attribute. And then it has a price and max speed and color and so on. And then behaviors of a car can be drive, for example, and then brake as well, and then change color and so on. So here we are going to create an example of a class and then we are going to create an object of that class. So the class that I want to create is going to be called YouTube channel. So in order to create a class, you write class and then you give a name to your class. So here I'm going to say YouTube channel like this and then you put these curly brackets and at the end you will have to put a semicolon. And now here you will put the members of this class. Now, one thing that I haven't mentioned is that class is user-defined data type. We have already talked about data types in this course or in C++ for Beginners course. So if you haven't watched that, make sure to do so. I'm going to link it in the description and then here as well. So we have talked about basic data types such as integer, floating point number, and then boolean character, double, string, you know. But a class is going to be a user-defined data type, which is going to allow you to represent a real-life object in programming. And in this particular situation, I want to represent a YouTube channel. So let's think of attributes of a YouTube channel. What is something that describes a YouTube channel? Let's say, for example, that each YouTube channel has a name. So that is going to be a string variable. Let's say string name like this. So these attributes are going to be represented with variables. So one of the attributes is going to be name. And then let's say another is going to be string owner, owner name like this. And then let's think of another attribute. Let's say that each YouTube channel has a subscribers count. So int subscribers count like this. And then let's as well create a list of published videos. So I'm going to say list and let's call it published video titles. So that is going to be type string and it is going to be called published like this. Now, here it says that this list cannot be used because we haven't included um, it here. So here I'm going to say include list. And now this should be accessible. Okay, now we don't have that error anymore. And what I want to do here is I want to represent a YouTube channel that has four attributes. It has a name, then owner name, you can use email here or whatever, and then it has subscribers count and published video titles. Now here you can use another class. Here you can say, for example, list of videos. You can create another class that is called video. And then in that video class, you can put all the attributes that describe a video. So that can be, for example, a title and then a description. 
number of likes, number of comments, number of views, um, the duration of that video, the video itself, you know. But for the simplicity of this particular exam example, I'm going to use just the title of those videos. So now, after I have created this YouTube channel class, what I can do is I can create an object of that class. So let's say here that I'm going to create an object. So how you do that, you say the type. So you put the name of your class, which is YouTube channel, and then you give a name to that variable. Let's call it YouTube channel like this. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to assign values to these properties of my YouTube channel. And how do I do that? Well, you say YouTube channel and then you put dot. And here is nothing available, but it should be. These properties should be available when you say YouTube channel dot. Now, why these are not available? It is because all the members of your class are by default private. And that means that these members, because they are private, they are going to be accessible only within this class here. And in order to make them public, in order to make them accessible outside of this class, you put public access modifier. So you say here, public, okay, like this. Now, this public is an access modifier and it is going to make all of these members of your class accessible outside of your class, which means that now if I press dot here, as you can see, name, owner name, published video titles, and then subscribers count is available for me now. So I'm going to say that the name of my YouTube channel is going to be, for example, code beauty like this, and then owner name. Let's copy this a couple more times. So owner name is going to be my name, so Saldina, like this, and then subscribers count, well, let's say this is an integer variable, so we don't need the quotation marks, let's say 1,800 1, uh, people, and then these published video titles, so let's add value to my published video titles list, so here I want to say that I have published, for example, um, C++ for beginners. Oh, let's say video one. Okay. And then let's say HTML and CSS video one. Okay. And let's add as well this video. So let's say C++ OOP video one. Okay, now after I have assigned value to these properties, what I can do is I can write out these properties. So I can say here, for example, C out, and then let's say name, and let's write out the name of my YouTube channel, like this. And I'm going to add an end line, and I'm going to copy this a couple more times, like this. So here I want to write out owner name, so let's put YouTube channel dot owner name and then here I want to write out a subscribers count. So YouTube channel dot subscribers count and then published video titles. Now this property here, published video titles, is not a simple property, meaning this property here is a list and in order to write out a list we are going to use a loop. So I'm going to delete this. And then here I want to create a loop. And let's say that we will be using for each loop. So I'm going to say for like this. And then here I'm going to write out the type of the value that I'm going to use in my list. So I'm going to say string because this published video title is of type string. And then here I want to give it a name. So I'm going to say video title like this and then I'm going to specify the list that I want to iterate and that list is going to be this one here. So it is going to be a list of published videos in my YouTube channel object. Okay and now in these curly brackets I'm going to specify the block of code that is going to be executed in each iteration. So what I want to do with this video title is I want to write it out. So I'm going to say C out 
And then let's write out video title and I'm going to add an end line at the end as well. And one more thing that I want to write out before this list is going to be just see out videos like this. Okay, and let's add end line at the end so that it is formatted nicely. So now if I run this program, as you can see, it has written out information about this object that we have created here. It says that the name of YouTube channel is Code Beauty, and then owner name is Saldina, subscribers count is equal to 1800, and then the, this channel has published three videos, so C++ for beginners, and then HTML and CSS video one, and then C++ object-oriented programming video one. Okay, so uh, I have created a class that is called YouTube channel. I have uh, created four attributes, so four properties, and made them public, which means that these four properties are going to be accessible outside of this class, and we have accessed those properties here. So we have said uh, that we want to assign the value to our name property, and then owner name, subscri subscriber's count, and then we have as well um, assigned value to this published video titles list. Okay, and then here we have written out information that is stored inside these properties. So that was an example of how you can create a class and then how you can create an object of that class as well. And in my next video, we are going to be talking about constructors and class methods because there is a more simple way to do this that we have done here. So make sure to check that video out as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.